Hey, what's going on, everybody? This your boy James from What's Your Forte. And if you can see behind me, this is something super, super special and rare in the United States. Actually, this is the first one in the United States, and this is a G81 M3. And today, we're gonna do a quick walk around and review on it. So let's get to it. Looks like we got a G81 wagon here. Let me see what's in the trunk. Well, hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, what are you doing here? Always <laughs> from Germany? Yeah. <laughs> Just arrived. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry we forgot you on the truck. <laughs> I'm sorry we forgot you. It was so you. spacious. It was uh, just fine. Yeah, it's a wagon. <laughs> Someone kept bringing me snacks. I don't know who it was. Uh, but thank him for me. Thank okay. you. <laughs> but it was a free ride. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> what is it like 6,000 kilometers? What is it? Yeah, 6,200. So, so be, uh, get a good mileage on your account now. <laughs> yeah. Frequent flyer miles. Yeah. More oh. miles than the car has, right? <laughs> All right, everyone. So, as you see right behind me, this is the G81, and we do have George from Daler hey here with us as well. So, he's going to be answering a couple of my questions that I have about the, the G81 M3 and the touring. So, as you guys know, we don't get this in the United States, so for him to put the amount of work and effort to bring this to the Keys Auto Show, which I hope you guys are at, um, you know, is amazing. So de definitely thank you, George, for putting in the work and effort and bringing us this opportunity to get something that we don't really see Thanks over here. <laughs> so definitely, definitely thank you for that. All right, guys, so as you can see, the biggest difference between this car and the G80s that we have over here is going to be this back part. So we'll start talking about the rear end because that's the biggest thing, the biggest difference, as you see right there. So on the rear, as you can see, he has this part right here that's usually gloss black. This is body color. And that's just the way they designed the car, the way that Daler and George and the team right there wanted to really uh, color coordinate with the car, with the actual wrap design. As you see, they got the Swiss flags right there. And then we also got the Swiss flag right up there on the shark fin. So very nice touches, very nice pieces to accent the way the colors car is laid out. So George, can you tell me what kind of exhaust, see this, this exhaust on the car. So I'm assuming this is gonna be a Daler exhaust. So which Daler exhaust do you have on this car? It is, it is the Daler Redline exhaust system. Mm -hmm. Our, as it's a European spec car, it starts after the secondary catalytic converter, which you as models don't have. So, but Euro spec cars, they come with an extra filter. We call that the OPF filter. Mm -hmm. And this is where the exhaust starts. It goes all the way back, so it's a cat back system for European cars. I can, uh, I'll let me start it up for you. All right, sounds good. Ooh, we got a nice rumble. And of course. Okay, yep. He's got the, he's got the valve controller yeah, like I used to have. valve controller. So you can put it on neighbor friendly. <laughs> So, that's it. All right. So we got neighbor friendly right there. You can hear it open up. definitely can hear the difference from Sport Plus with the valves open and closed. All right, everyone, so we just heard the exhaust. Definitely sounds good. And this is the Redline exhaust, the new Redline exhaust you have? That's right, and All it's right. a Eurospec, which are yeah. much quieter. Yeah, they're gonna have the OPF and everything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, definitely way more, way more restrictive than we have over here in the US. That's right. All right, everyone, so we're in the rear of the car. We're looking at the M3 Touring, got George here. So he's gonna let us know exactly what are specific things to the Touring on the rear end of the car. 
Yeah, well, first of all, the thanks to the M engineers, they, they, had, they made a great job. It's a hell of a car. It's a super fast wagon. And it is as good as a sedan or a coupe. It's not like any less, not sporty, but they, the setup was done around the North Loop in Germany. So this car is a real sports car, race car. Mm -hmm. And the back of the car, of course, will give you extra space besides. Wow, okay. Yeah, there is a lot of space back here. Yeah, or even more. Check that out. Nice. That's a lot of space. I mean, I think I can get in there. I can fit in there. Oh, it's got the, so you do have the buttons right there. So you got the <laughs> quick buttons right there so you can drop this, the seats. So that's very nice. I mean, it's almost like for like the smaller issue, kind of like an X3. You almost don't need an X3 if you no, have No, no, actually you don't. I mean, unless you want something higher off the ground, of course. But I mean, with, with that much space, you don't need the X3. That's really nice. So, so as you guys saw, it has a split design. So you can open it just from here, or you also can open the whole trunk. So that's really nice. And that's really adds a lot more functionality to it as well. So you mm. can use it in lots of different ways. Yeah, it's a so daily car. Ultimate daily. But ultimate daily. Absolutely sports car in any yeah. way. Any yeah. aspect. It's uh what the M engineers did is that's amazing. It is really is amazing. Most definitely. I know you talk about the M engineers. But what's, what's what about the Daler engineers? Yeah. I know this car is in stock. <laughs> that you guys is did no, a lot no, no, of no, stuff no. to this car. We so. did a lot of stuff to that, of course. There's always a way to to enhance the car or at least try to enhance it, but mm -hmm. um, we put, the, well, the catback exhaust is mm -hmm. on a car. We got the valve controller installed. Yep. We got our own setup for the suspension, the lowering kit. Mm -hmm. This is our new wheel design. Yes. 21s all around forged wheels on Michelin tires. Great. And of course we have the anti staff throttle commander, the mm -hmm. engine performance upgrade. Uh, it it uh, boosts 612 horsepower stock nothing else done, no filter system or anything else um, to the car. Mm -hmm. And the decal were, well, it shows yeah, the Swiss flag. The Swiss. Swiss flag as our headquarters are uh, actually based in Switzerland. Nice, yeah. yep, yep. And I will say, I know a lot of people don't like 21s on the G80 or the no. G82s, <clears throat> but this looks good. Like, cause people's like, oh, you're running around on rubber bands, stuff like that. I'm like, nah, these, these yeah. look really good. And definitely complements the color, the accents. It just, I mean, they, the two-tone of it kind of reminds you of the stock two-tone color. And then you got that complemented with a bigger wheel. You can see more of the rotor. I think it just looks good and complements the car really well. The 21s on the car, I mean, I know some people didn't like some of the 21s. I think Brian did a video with his 21s. Some people didn't yeah. like that. I thought they looked good, but hey, I mean, maybe they, I'm they a little different. They work. They work. The, the setup mm -hmm. with the wheels, tire combination, everything, that car handles just great. Yeah. It handles awesome. Now, it's I do a, know one problem that a lot of people had was in the front. When you go in no reverse, problem. they rub. Do, do these, does this setup rub at all no, in it's reverse? No, a, it's, a, it's a TUV setup. They're okay. not allowed to rub in Germany, of course oh, not, oh, or Switzerland yeah. either. <laughs> so there's, everything has to be super safe and super tested and everything. So the whole setup is actually approved, so. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, I'm gonna show <laughs> a side view here. This, I mean, it's pretty flush. I mean, there isn't a lot of oh, room there. Like all right, everyone, so we're around the front end of the car here. And as you guys can see, this front lip is not a stock front lip. So, so if you walk around, I'm just giving you guys a full walk around there. It's going to be, I talked to George, and this is, this is the prototype. They 3D scanned the whole front end of the car to make this prototype. And it does have a split there, but this is just because of the 3D scan and how they had to build the prototype front lip. But he said it's going to be offered in all carbon. And then it's also going to be a three-piece design. So you can have the front piece this side piece here and in the corner right there. So it's gonna look really, really good. I think it looks really good in person. And you can kind of see the side of it there. It kind of has like a CS vibe with the way it comes up on the edge of it. And I think it looks really good. Like, I mean, all the Daler stuff is top notch. So I'm, I just know that this front lip's gonna be top notch. So definitely whenever this is available, you definitely can hit up Keys Motorsports so you can order one if you are interested in one. But yeah, guys, what do you guys think of this car? I mean, I think it looks good. You know, you guys already know I had a G80 M3 and I liked it. You know, I had no issues with the car other than the fact that I'm just a bigger dude and I didn't have a lot of size in it. But I mean, this thing looks great. And then also on the inside, you know, pretty standard. 
it's just gonna have the iDrive 8 with the screen. Oh, he has the Daler floor mats in here as well. Looking good. Well, this is a skyscraper? Skyscraper gray. I thought so. So then he's got a skyscraper gray, which makes it look really good as well. Over Silverstone. The Daler Swiss flag showing off right there. Yeah, everything looks good, man. I mean, I, this car is amazing. I wish we could have got these. These cars automatically come with X-Drive, so you don't have to worry about that. He's got the, all the Daler products on it. And um, you guys know I had a lot of the Daler products on my car, so I definitely will sign off on any of them. I know some people say they're, they're a little, little high. The price of them is a little high, but, I mean, yeah, you get what you pay for. So, All right, everyone, so that's going to be my quick review of the G81 brought over here by Daler. Of course, this car will be displayed at Keys Auto Show here in Echo. We're going to be drag racing out there. This car will be out there for you guys to see. Beautiful car, beautiful design. Everything, all the little parts added to it just help enhance what is already a beautiful car. So, again, special shout-out to Brian and the team at Keys Motorsports. Special shout-out to George and Daler. As you guys know, I like Daler. I had them on all my G8, had them on my G80, all their parts on my G80. So, really like their parts. And special shout-out to everyone that put a hand in getting this car over here for us to view. As you guys know, we don't get this car over here in America, but I did hear the M5 Touring was coming to America, so hopefully we'll get a chance to have that as far as a touring vehicle. But, again, that's going to be my view. I like this car. Wish we had it. We don't, but I get a chance to view it, so this is a very special opportunity, and I hope you guys appreciate it. Again, hope you like this content I'm bringing to you. Please subscribe, please like, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.